Hey folks, I'm Dispersed Camp out in BLM land, uh, located near uh, Lake Pleasant. Thanks for watching. Hey folks, this is Mark, Dispersed Camp Man, and I am currently dispersed uh, camped on some uh, BLM land, which is a little ways from uh, Lake Pleasant, which you could probably see right there in the background. Got a very nice view of uh, Lake Pleasant right there. I am dispersed camped off of uh, a dirt road called uh, uh, Cow Creek Road. Uh, the road coming in here is pretty decent. I mean, uh, once you start looking around here, there's uh, all types of uh, RVs out here. Uh, class A's, B's, C's, travel trailers. So the road is uh, pretty decent. Just uh, like, as always, on dirt roads, there are uh, some washboarding going on every once in a while. Just uh, take it slow in that area, you should be good. Yeah, this uh, part of the BLM is for OHVs, off-highway vehicles. It's pretty much a uh, staging area where people will park and download their uh, vehicles to uh, ride the trails around here. And of course, this being an OHV area where the people uh, ride their uh, vehicles off-road in the desert, the desert is sandy, and uh, once you get a lot of people doing that, it does kick up a lot of dust. So if you don't want to be in the middle of a lot of dust, I wouldn't come out here. And also, there's the uh, noise factor. It is kind of noisy, but I am you know, parked a little ways away from everybody else. So the noise ain't that bad, <clears throat> but if you are parked amongst them, people running around their OHVs, uh, the noise does get pretty bad, or pretty loud, I, I guess you could say. I was recording, I looked over, and I noticed this uh, hawk right there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this hawk ain't scared of me for sure. Yeah, I definitely like uh, seeing wildlife out here. That's pretty cool looking. But me personally, <clears throat> I really do like it out here. It's pretty neat uh, running these uh, roads and stuff and these trails on my uh, OHB. Well, it's actually a dual sport. It's not an OHB. And uh, taking a look at all these uh, different types of OHVs uh, people uh, come out here and uh, run around with, I think it's pretty neat. But like I said, I mean, if you're not used to this kind of stuff, you probably won't like it because I think you can hear it now, some of the noise. And once that wind starts blowing us a little bit, <clears throat> this whole place becomes dusted over. Like I said, this is a holiday, so uh, there's probably a lot more people out here than normal. Yeah, folks, here's my uh, camping spot I picked. But there's Lake Pleasant, like I was saying. And on around, I got pretty much all the mountain ranges down through here. And down here, <clears throat> here's like a little small section where uh, some of these OHV riders park at right here. Pretty cool. Like I said, there's like mountain ranges all around me. Yeah, folks, if y'all watched my uh, last two videos, I was having all that uh, double yolk uh, drama going on with me. Uh, I've used uh, nine eggs out of a carton of 12, and out of those nine eggs so far, uh, six of those eggs were double yolked. And I just got, uh, start. I just used my last three eggs out of that uh, dozen, and I decided to go ahead and boil them, because I wanted to make maybe a chicken salad. And I boiled the eggs, I made the chicken salad, and uh, I was cutting up the uh, last three boiled eggs for my uh, salad. And out of the uh, three boiled eggs, only one of them was double yolked. So that makes seven 
double yoked eggs out of a carton of 12. But definitely, those uh, last three bull eggs was a good addition to my uh, chicken salad. There's, uh, there's nothing like eating a chicken salad, staring out your picture window at this uh, beautiful public land we got here. Yeah, folks, what am I doing next? I'm going to be jumping on my uh, motorcycle. I'm going to show you guys around this place right here. Uh, there's a, it's a pretty big area. Like I said, it's all BLM land. And I'm going to show you guys where people are parking and uh, dispersed camping. I'll show you some of the good spots also and uh, what it turned into on the road. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, folks, I rode uh, out here on Cow Creek Road. This is the road you would be coming in off of. Wait, coming up on this road, Take a look at all the scenery out here. The scenery on this ro road is outstanding. Well, this is the Cow Creek Road you're on. Look over to your right, you see all the uh, RVers out there downloading their OHVs. And you just take this road. If you look up to your left right here, there's like a uh, sign right here. Looks like he's doing some tent camping. That's pretty cool. And of course your riders, OHG registration plate and decal required. On your OHVs. And I'm hoping to find some burrows. I want to show you the best spot to camp at if you can get it before everybody else does. The reason why I like this place up here is for the view. <laughs> you can catch this by yourself. In a not so busy season, this would be an ideal spot to camp at right here. Let's look at the views over there. Yes, yeah, there's the uh, old airfield strip right here. People out here just having a blast in their OHVs. A little, couple miles down the road here, there's a lookout point. I'm gonna take you guys down there and take a look at it. Some burrows right there, it's pretty cool. Oh, it's a little baby burrow. It's like a mama burrow and a baby burrow right there. What I'm gonna do is park my uh, motorcycle here. I'm gonna walk up there get a better view better view up here and out there's that uh cow creek road dirt road you coming off of and right there is that uh, ohv camping area i'm dispersed camped out on blm land Around the lake is part of state land, so you can't uh, disperse camp on state land unless you get a permit through that park over there, the uh, Lake Pleasant uh, State Park Office. Best thing about exploring the desert, you just never know what you're gonna see. Saw this little path through here. I'm gonna check it out down through here. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, folks, uh, dispersed camping on some BLM land and finding stuff like this is all well worth it. It's like some wash, wash area. I'm going to take, take a look at it. It's pretty neat looking. Definitely ain't hot springs. It's uh, pretty cold. Yeah, folks, this is a interesting find right here. I hear uh, exploring the desert on BLM land and finding an oasis like this out in the desert. It's pretty cool. Here we go again. 
home sweet home. Good morning, folks. It's a uh, early morning, and uh, I'll be leaving today. I've already got my uh, camper all set up for travel. Cleared out my uh, campsite. I want to say probably the highlight in this trip is probably finding that uh, waterhole oasis in the middle of the desert. Uh, that just proves to show, you know, you never know what's out in the desert. You know, running all these uh, dirt roads with my motorcycle, just checking everything out. It's pretty cool and interesting. And I definitely wish I would have got a uh, kind of closer look of those burrows I found earlier. I think those things are pretty neat to look at. Uh, if you're interested in finding the burrows, what I was doing was just walk, uh, driving up and down the road, just look off out in the desert, and uh, you'll find them out there eventually. I'll have you guys take one more look around before I leave. Hey, take a look. This is a pretty cool looking uh, camping spot right here. You got the Lake Pleasant out there, the sun shining off the lake. Pretty cool views. And then right down here, is where everybody else has camped at. <clears throat> if you remember earlier that road I came in, I showed you the road I turned onto to get down here. It's pretty rough. All these vehicles made it down here. I've even got a Class A out there. I'm gonna jump on the roof of my truck camper real quick and give you a bird's eye view of the area. Yeah, I'm up here on my truck camper. I said there's uh, Lake Pleasant over there in the state park. And this is the road I came in off of. There's all these campers out there. You got all kinds of campers out there. You got fifth wheels, travel trailers, class A's. Uh, you can camp out anywhere out through here. This is all BLM land. Over there is a staging area. Where people download their uh, OHVs off highway vehicles. You got people way out there. Pretty nice area down through here. You know, where I'm parked behind me is actually that's that uh, road I came in off of. You can see all the way out through here. All this is not BLM land. A lot of this is a state property. That's part of the state park. But you'll see signs saying no camping, no riding, whatever, because that's all uh, state property. But you can if you get, I think, if you get a permit from the uh, Lake Pleasant State Park Office. But all this right here is uh, BLM land. Free camping, 14 days. Well, I'm about to head out of here, guys. I appreciate you guys watching this video. And if uh, you're interested in coming out here, like always, I do leave the grid coordinates uh, to this camping spot in the video description if you're interested. Also, I'm going to leave the video description or the uh, coordinates to that uh, lookout area and the uh, watering hole. Leave the coordinates of those two places uh, the, uh, in the video description. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching.